Dune has invested in 21 companies thus far. We've deployed over 50 million in capital, and hopefully we'll be doing a lot more over the next, uh, over the next few years. Dune is a venture fund that invests in games and the technologies that expand and disrupt games. I dropped out of school when I was uh, 18 to join an early stage startup called Galaxy Digital. The company did really well, went public, and as part of that, we ended up building internally a gaming division that ended up investing in some of the best companies in games. And so I took all that experience over the last few years and uh, decided to go on my own, and start my own fund. Honestly, it's very scary, but also really empowering. It was really, really exciting to for the first time, do something in my, my vision, basically. There are advantages and disadvantages to being this age in venture. I think the core advantage is a lot of the founders we work with who are really brilliant are sometimes 18, 19, 20, 21. They're really, really young, uh, and they come from this entirely digitally native world. And so I grew up playing games, I understand games, I still play games all day long. And so being the age I am, doing what I do is I think, specifically really helpful. I think the biggest challenge about running Dune so far has been building our brand and presence in the space. Getting founders to want to work with us and reach out to us when they want to go raise their pre-seed seed Series A is way more difficult than I ever imagined it to be. Uh, and it takes a lot of time. And it's, it's not only about Twitter or online presence, it's a lot about reputation, working with other investors, working with other founders. I found that the biggest thing we have ever done for brand building is just having a great relationship with our founders because founders talk to other founders and uh, spread the word. I think by having such intimate knowledge about our companies and having such great relations with our founders, and, and we're already seeing this, we have uh, exclusive access to follow on investments into the companies, we have bigger ownership, and overall have a way deeper understanding of the companies. Whenever we meet a founder that has a very unique backstory or a very unique view of the world, that's, that's what we back. I take dozens of pitches a day, hundreds a week, and a lot of these pitches are mostly the same, same pitch, same thesis. I've consistently found that the companies that we've backed, I would have never imagined us to have backed in the beginning because the thesis was so different from what I viewed the world as. But that's what's exciting about these companies, right? And it requires a very unique background and thesis and talent to go build these companies. So that, that's what we look for. One of our first really big investments was a company called Metal TV. They're now one of the largest social platforms for gamers. They let you clip moments in games. The, the entire thesis around this was every day we take moments in our physical lives, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. We have no tool similar for the digital world, but yet we spend so much time in the, playing video games five plus hours a day. And so the idea is that we're building the Instagram or TikTok for, for games, right? The, the, the tool to enable gamers across the world, which there are billions of, to share their moments with their friends and, and connect people across the world. We won't sell Dune because this is what I'm gonna spend the rest of my life doing. I'm not too worried about legacy. I want to, to make sure that we make as much impact as possible with our founders. And if we do that over the next few decades, I think that will be the legacy. If I can discover some incredible young talent as we've been doing over the last few years, I'll be very happy.